Good day. Our topic is on relations and functions. So, a relation is a correspondence between two values, x and y. So, x represents the domain and y represents for the range. A function is a correspondence that associates each element of x a unique element of y. Domain is the set of all x of the function and the set of values or images of the elements in the domain x is called the range or simply y. A relation can be represented in table, graph, ordered pair, or mapping diagram. This one. How to identify if it's a function or not a function? So a function can be one-to-one -one or many-to-one. As illustrated here, this is one-to-one. -one. So each element in the domain, this is our domain, and this is our range. Each element in the domain is paired with one element in the range. So that's one-to-one. It is many to one and it's a function if two or more of the elements of the domain, like for example this one here, 0 and 1, is paired with one element of the range, the negative 1. So that's many to one. It is not a function if one element of the Domain is paired with two or more elements of the range. Let's say we have the domain 2 is paired with 2 and 1 of the range. So that's many to 1 and it is not a function. How about with many to many? So... It's not considered a function if the relationship is many to many or the correspondence is many to many. Like, for example, this one here, we have 1 is paired with 1, 1 is paired with negative 1, and 0 is paired with 1 also. And 2 is paired with 1. So, it is not a function. The relationship is many to many. So, how, how do we identify if a graph is a function or not a function? Okay, using the vertical line test, we will be able to identify if it's a function. Let's say, for example, the graph of y is equal to sine x. Uh, this is the graph of y is equal to sine x. So using the vertical line test, if you're going to draw a vertical line, we'll be able to... The vertical line will hit on the one point in the graph of y is equal to sine x. And it is a function. Now... If, if it is x, or let's say, for example, if we have the graph of x is equal to sine y, if we're going to draw a vertical line, it will hit two points, and this one here, and this one here, as an example. So because it hits two points using the vertical line test, it is not a function.
what does the horizontal line test tells us? So the horizontal line t tells us whether a function is one to one or many to one. Let's say for example the graph of a function y is equal to x cubed is one to one. So it only hits one point. So that's one to one. How about the graph of y is equal to negative 2 over 9 x cubed plus 2 x. So the graph is represented by this one here. And it hits three points in the graph. The horizontal line hits three points in the graph. And it is considered as a function that is many to one. If you're going to draw a vertical line test, it only hits one point. What's the properties of a function? So it is injective if it is one to one. It is surjective, surjective if it is many to one. And it is also called onto. And it is bijective if it is both one to one and onto. Again, it is injective if it is one to one. It is surjective if it is many to one and is also called onto. And it is bijective if it is both one to one and onto.